Yo, what's up YouTube? If you're new here, my name is Danny James and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create these smooth swipe transitions inside of After Effects. If you do end up enjoying this content, kindly give it a like and subscribe if you're also watching me for the first time and turn on the post notification bell so that you never miss any of my uploads. Now let's jump into it. We are on After Effects and I have my two clips here already. If you're starting on Premiere, you can highlight on your two clips and then replace that with an AE composition. Uh, what you want to do, you want to go to your second clip and then you want to mask out the subject. So you can mask out the subject for as long as you like. You can also go to the through the entire clip. I'll make sure mine goes up to 20 frames and then I'll extend a little further. So I'll double click on my clip, get the roto brush tool and then do the necessary. Okay, so I've tracked about 30 frames. I think I'll freeze that one now. Okay, so it just finished freezing. So I'll go back to my comp and then I can see my clip uh, looks good to go. Now what I'll do, I'll duplicate this clip, hit control D and then uh, name this the first one Von Roto. And then the second one can stay like that, Von with background. Also feel free to check out this artist. Uh, one of my close friends i link down his music down below and then you want to drag the roto brush above the first clip and then click on those two clips uh the roto in the background and then drag them such that they overlap this one uh, you want to ensure this overlap is about 20 frames just from trial and error i know that will be a good spot so from this cut i'll go using my page up and page down keys 20 frames Okay, so 20 frames ends there, and I'll drag this right here. We have our two clips right here, which are overlapping. So I'll hide the two layers which are down below so that you can deal with the rotted, with the rotted layer. Uh, go to your effects and look for a transform. Drag it there. You also want to add an echo effects on that rotted clip. Disable the echo so that you can begin with the transform. For this first whip swipe, we're going to do it horizontally. I'll add a keyframe for position and then hit you here to see that keyframe. Okay, so our final result should be right there. That's our last position. And then we can drag our subject to the right, something like that. And then you can put this keyframe to the beginning and easy ease. Okay, so that it comes in like this. And then I will go to my shutter angle, disable using the composition's shutter angle, put you as, I recommend 180 degrees going upwards, uh, that has a really good blurring feel to it, so it should come in like this. Uh, let's now enable the echo effect, and then you want to use negative 0.07, that's a good point. You can play around anywhere near that value which is negative 0.07. So you can play with 0 0.06 or 0 0.08, should be okay. And then you can determine the number of echoes that you want. I want three echoes. And then composite it in front. So if we play it back, it should go on like this. Yeah, this should join like that. Now, if we go to the first frame, you can see there is a little of problem right here. If I disable the echo, the problem is no longer there. So it's, it seems to be brought in by the echo. So I found a way to mitigate that. And that is by simply, right before the subject appearing, you can cut that portion. Okay, once you chip off those first few frames, don't try moving these other keyframes. Let them stay as they are. So it should join in like this seamlessly. Now, one thing we need to do, we need to make sure these echoes stop getting produced. So you can add a keyframe from the, for the number of echoes. Of course, we added three. So we can hit U so that you can see that keyframe. Go like two frames behind, stay at three, and then right at the end, make sure it goes to zero. So it should be a bit seamless like that. Yeah. Now from that, let's now re-enable these other layers now we need to add an operator for this background right click on this gray space and then add a new adjustment layer put it between the roto brush and all the mother layers i'll give it a different color that's a green and then you want to 
place it right between these two clips so that's about 20 frames so it stays right in between these two clips on the adjustment layer go to your presets look for cc repertile add it there you can also add the transform like that for the cc repertile you want to max out these values so we can put something like 4k and then we can copy that value to these other clips okay now go to your transform and add a position keyframe since we are doing our horizontal swipe we are going to hit u drag that keyframe okay leave that keyframe there we can go to this other end and then let's alter the position like this so it needs to rotate a couple more times so if we go at 4k uh, we still have room but once it hits 5k you can see we have the black space and that is because of the repertile it only expanded the right left down and up up to 4k so if you want these values to go further than that you need to reinforce the same on these other areas so i'll expand left up to 6k and now i have some space right there so i'll keep pushing this until it realigns back again let me disable the first layer which is on top so it should look something like this put those keyframes to easy ease and then put your own shutter angle of 180 degrees and it should look something like this i'll re-enable the main roto brush layer on top so that you can see yeah uh, we forgot to do one thing on this background layer we didn't delete the roto brush sorry about that now if we play this back now let's clean this up so that it makes sense now these two clips need to share this adjustment layer so halfway through this we need to cut our first clip so that it picks the second clip and it continues from there yeah uh, feel free to adjust the velocity of these graphs uh, but for this one i find it better if you adjust the graph editor for the roto brush layer for the transform uh, you can highlight on those go to the speed graphs and then you can make it slowest at the end so it should be faster in the beginning and then slower towards the end now it should look like this yeah this looks really wavy uh, cool and smooth honestly so let's do the second variation which applies uh, the vertical displacement here's our second comp uh, i just have to do the roto brush for this layer real quick and then i'll just go frame by frame until it's all done so far i'll render up to this bit so i'll alter this area so that it fits up to there and then i'll click on freeze okay uh once it's there we'll go back to our comp and then you can see it has frozen this side up to there and then it hasn't frozen this other area as i mentioned earlier we only need about 20 frames for this transition duplicate that layer and then name this one von roto and then delete the roto brush from the background layer and then put the roto layer above the first clip push them to the left so that they overlap this one i'll measure 20 frames from where this first clip ends okay they end right here uh, it's not a must to use the predefined uh, amount of frames and all go to your effects and presets and then add a transform effect to the rotored layer and again add the echo effect to it uh, let's disable the other layers which are beneath us and disable the echo now let's add a keyframe for position of the transform layer and then hit u on this clip let's make sure this is our last position now we can drag this value down so that the subject appears from below like that put those keyframes to easy ease okay now you can even play further and add a keyframe for scaling hit u so that you can see that keyframe 
make sure our scaling of 100 is our last result and then we can bump it up to around 230 and push that keyframe to the beginning align it with the other one and set it on easy ease okay and then let's set a shutter angle of 180 okay and then let's now work on the echo enable the echo put it at negative 0 0.07 and then composite it in front like that so it should look something like this as i showed you earlier if you get any error on your first frame just cut it off like that and don't move any keyframes yeah let's now play with around four echoes so that they all join like that yeah that looks dope for this echo to disappear we need to add a keyframe for the number of echoes hit u okay this is at four just to drag that keyframe about one frame behind two frames behind and then make sure the echoes go to zero right at the end okay this looks dope now let's work on the other two layers that are right beneath so i'll disable that layer and enable the two layers that are beneath click here to add a new adjustment layer as i showed you earlier on put that adjustment layer right beneath the roto brush and then cut it so that it only fits within these 20 frames of the transition like that on this adjustment layer add the cc repertile you also want to add the transform like that now go to your cc repertile you can max out that value 20,000 should be the maximum value and then paste it on these other dimensions okay now for the transform you're going to add a keyframe for position hit you so that you can see that keyframe you can push that keyframe to the end because that's our last result and then we can have it uh, rotate from around 7000 and then drag it so that it fits perfectly where it should be so it should go a bit faster and if you want something that's not going as much you can reduce the value so let's go to around 5000 on our first keyframe and then realign it like that uh, set this to easy ease and let's preview that yeah that's good uh, you can highlight on your two keyframes and then ensure they are fastest in the middle and then they they are slow towards the end yeah something like that uh, don't forget to adjust the shutter angle so that it uses your own shutter angle uh, set it to 180 degrees like that and it should be a bit smoother yeah so that's really dope and then the last step is to ensure that this clip is trimmed halfway so that these two clips can both share the effects of the adjustment layer concurrently now if i add this up with our rotored layer it should look even better if you want you can take this a step further and add a glow add a glow to the adjustment layer uh, just go to the middle add the keyframe for intensity hit u i'm using a universe a red giant universe glow and then in the beginning i'll make sure the intensity is at zero and i'll do the same at the end so that it's also at zero and then set this keyframe at the middle and squeeze these other ones you can set them to easy ease if you feel like it yeah you can add up other effects and see what you get with this one yeah that's it for me today i hope you did enjoy this tutorial as much as i did if you did enjoy it kindly give it a like subscribe and hit the notification bell and i should see you soon yeah my name is danny james see you on the next tutorial peace